Hello, a very good day, I bet. Today I'm going to explain about Power Gloss Effect. In this video, I would like uh, there is three segments that I will present, which is uh, introduction of Power Gloss Effects, example of Power Gloss Effects, and how to reduce the Power Gloss Effect. Okay. What is our glossing? Uh, basically, our glossing is a a false deformation mode of finite element mesh resulting from the excitation of zero energy degree of freedom. It typically manifests a patchwork of zigzag or our glass like element shapes, as we can see in this. Uh, with, uh, this picture, this is an uh, example of power glass effect. Six sec, six sec, six sec. And where the individual elements are severely deformed. Uh, while the overall mesh section is undeformed, this has happened on uh, hexa hexahedral 3D solid reduced integration elements and on the respective tetrahedral 3D shells elements and 2D solid elements. Alright, moving on, moving on to the next uh, segment, which is example of hourglass effect. As you can see, this is a uh, example of hourglass effects. This is a, a bar a column, whatever you call it. Uh, you can clearly see the zigzag effect on this. This example uh, in actual physical scenario or in an experiments uh, this will not happen but in FEA it will happen this is just a non-physical zero energy mode which leads to excessive element distortions the more structure and less distorted elements are the better the result this is the last part of this video, which is how to reduce the Howard glass effect. Uh, based on the feature, this is uh, our glass effect on the 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 3D models, and this is defined. This is un. This is okay models which are affected by our glass effect. Okay, how to reduce this? Uh, how a glass effect first you can uh, by doing a mesh re refining uh, how a glossing is more prone in coarse mesh well if you got uh, this kind of model when you meshing it uh, try to do a re refine your mesh model uh, the second Second way to to reduce the Howard glass effect is fully integrated. Uh, fully integrated elements are better enough. The better tough computational time increase vastly, and fully integrated elements are prone to shear locking. The third way to reduce the Howard glass effect is providing a small arbitrary stiffness in the mode in which Howard glass deforms. This is the only FEA point of view and in actual physical system, there is no stiffness. This is what is called as built in our glass controls. The last but not least is viscous damping. Alright, thank you for listening. This is the end of the video.